All right, so if you're ready to export your um, drawing, what I'll do is I'll show you obviously how to add color to some of the things. So um, for example, we're gonna start off and just go to export PDF here in the um, corner. All right, so you can obviously do all sheets. For us, we've only got the one. All right, so um, we'll press OK. All right, then we can call this you know, engineering drawing or something similar. Okay, and then just obviously choose where you want that to be saved. So for me, yeah, you know, I can sort of save it wherever, but for you guys, you probably want it in your home drive. I'll do the same. All right, so we'll hit save. All right, now what we're going to do is use a program called Adobe Acrobat. Now, some of you may have access to this program, some of you might not. So if you don't, see if you can download it. Um, otherwise, you may need to yeah, try and find another program that does something very similar. So basically, all I'm going to do is open up that file now. So just go File Open. And we're going to go to uh, Home Drive. Find the engineering drawing and just open it up. So just as a quick note, I've used Photoshop before and I've used Illustrator and I find that they have a lot of errors importing the PDF um, with all the line thicknesses and stuff like that. So um, you can try it, but yeah, I've had issues with that. Okay, now, um, as you can see here, if I zoom in, all right, so you got all the line thicknesses there that we need. Um, they are pretty thick, so I can I do think you can edit that on um, uh, Fusion 360 if you need. Um, but otherwise, yeah, everything else is looking all right. Okay, so as an example, just for this little demo, I'm just going to show you what you can do to add a color. Now, um, I might focus on a simple one for now. We might look at these squares here in the corner. So uh, the easiest way that I've found to do this is to go to Comment. All right, and then when you're in comment, you can go and I think it's this one here, shapes, and you can choose the shapes that you want. So um, if it's a simple rectangle, I would obviously obviously just use a rectangle. Um, so for example, we can come down here and I can go from there and just drag that across to here. All right, then you should be able to go and yeah so this is for fills so this will fill that um, square all right so there you go so you've got that one filled up all right now you may be able to just go control c control v there you go so you can make copies of these all right and this one here i might change to blue for example and then the border obviously you have to change to blue as well i can paste that again I was just using Control V. All right, and same thing. This one here, I can change that to like a gray color, and then change the border as well to the same color. All right. So, quite simply, I've just gone through. I've made some coloring there. Where it gets a little bit more complicated is obviously when you're trying to do some of the shapes that you've got here. So, I might just focus on this one here to start off with. So. The rear wing, whoops, the rear wing here is blue, so we're going to make these rear wings blue as well. So I'm just zooming in, holding control, and just scrolling with my mouse. I might just get rid of that so I've got a bit more room to play with. Let's just go up here to the shapes, and you're going to use polygon. All right, now. What we could do is we can even change the color before we start doing it. So I can go fill and the border to blue as well. I'm going to start here to here. All right, I'm just clicking once. And then there's a square here. All right. And you need to click inside of that square to link it all back up. Okay. So you can see that now that's colored in that area for us. Where this can be a bit of an issue is like obviously there's a curve there and I adjusted a straight line so 
it's not a perfect tool to use, but in terms of just for coloring to show the judges that this is where the rear wing is, um, it is good enough. So um, yeah, if there's other ways that you could do it, even like a paint bucket sort of fill, at least that would fill that whole area in, that could be easier. Um, but yeah, I found that this process here does tend to work okay. All right, so yeah, once again, we might choose another area. Just gonna zoom out. All right, so for example, if I did this one here, I would just do a rectangle where that body is. So starting from that line there, all the way across. So yeah, for this one here, once again, just do a rectangle, that'll be easier. All right, and this would be blue as well. So that's easy enough. All right, if it's for the virtual cargo, all right, that had to be gray now. This is something that's worthwhile noting as well. So if we use the polygon again, and we go from here and connect all those points. All right, back to the start. Now, as we know, these were gray. All right, now, because it's 100% opacity, you can't see any of the lines and stuff that are underneath it. So if I just click off for a sec, all right, and I'll zoom out. All right, so at the moment it's covering absolutely everything. So in terms of the engineering side of things, it's not good because obviously, you know, there might be some key information under there about the shape of the car or, you know, this slot underneath the car, with all those dashed lines going across, but you've completely just covered that. So when we click on this, and we go back to this section here, we can change the opacity. So, you know, obviously the more I do it, the more stuff you can see. So, you know, you might look at doing like, I think 40% is reasonable. That looks still pretty good. All right, so what I would do is then do 40% to all the others as well. All right, even including this one here, because you want everything to match exactly the same. So we could bring that down to 40%. All right, so then that's the same color as that. All right, now here's the other thing. All right, so let's say you've gone ahead. Actually, you know what, we'll do one of the red ones as well. All right, so an interesting sort of shape like this. Um, there's a couple of ways you could do that. The one that sort of springs to mind for me is you could look at doing like an oval. All right, so I could fill in that oval. Make another one here. All right, you can kind of like mold the shape as best you can. All right, and then for these here, obviously you need to change the fill. All right, and then yeah, I'll probably just finish that off with a polygon shape as well. So, yeah, as best as, whoops, try that again. Yes, yeah, so if I go over the top of it, it will select the circle. So I obviously need to miss it. Yeah, we can just come straight across like that for now, come back here. All right, and then, yeah, obviously do the same. Make sure the opacity is... Well, for this one here, you probably could just go ahead and leave it at 100. We can then tweak the shape to try and, you know, fit it as best as possible. All right, I'm just trying to... Make those lines reasonably straight. All right, so that there doesn't look too bad. So, all right, there's things like that that you can do just to sort of um, make the shapes that you need. All right, let me just zoom out. All right, so yeah, let's say, for example, you had all the red done for the front wings, even here and not there you wouldn't need to, but you got the blue as well for the rear wings. You've colored your... Uh, all of your uh, virtual cargos all right the issue we've had before is when you go to export this file 
it doesn't include the coloring because these are just comments now the way that we've overcome this problem in the past is we've actually exported this as a png file all right and then um, some printing companies may need it in pdf so then you can just convert that file back to pdf so i'll just show you if we just go well first of all we'll just do a normal save just make sure we don't lose anything all right then if you go file All right, then we go to exports to image, and then we use a PNG. All right, now we can just do that for now. So save. All right, so when I go and find that file, We'll just go to File Explorer. All right, once again, that'll be in my home drive, so it's just here. So when I open that up, okay, you've got all the coloring and stuff there. Okay, now, like I said, if you do want to convert this obviously back to a PDF, all right, because the printing company that you're using, you know, they might accept PNGs, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but I know there's one in particular that we've used before and they've said to us that they need it in PDF. So if that's the case, just convert this over to a PDF again. So you may even be able to, we'll just test it while we're here. If I opened up, we'll go old files. Here we are. So here's the engineering drawing as a PNG. If I open that up as it is, So I should get another tab. Here we go. All right. So this is the PNG version. And if I now export this again. All right. Then export this as a PDF. Actually, even if I just save it normally, I reckon it might already be a PDF for us. If I just go save as, they'll be able to tell me. All right, so here we go, convert to, so I wonder. No, so I reckon it might be doing it for us already. So if we just choose where we want it to be, so I'm going to choose, oh, there we are. It's already doing it as a PDF for us. So yeah, you just have to go file, save as for that. Now, once again, yeah, for you guys, put it in your home drive. And I can call this one Engineering Drawing Final, just so I can show you the difference. Go save. All right, now, when I find that, so in my home drive, there's the final version. Okay, so if I open that up, obviously it will yeah, show us exactly what we've, we've been working on. All right, so just keep that in mind. Um, so obviously if yeah, you're doing it in this way, using Adobe Acrobat, um, that's what you're going to have to do to just show the colouring for your engineering drawing.